I want to go over a Carlson command that we use an awful lot and has a lot of power to it. Um, I'm going to go down here to um, 3D Polyline Utilities and Offset 3D Polyline. And as usual uh, with a lot of these commands, there's a deep dive available and a lot of information here. I'm going to run through some of these really quick and then kind of uh, a deep dive into one of them and I'll do the others in, in subsequent videos. Um, let's quickly go over these. The interval allows me to take and do a single horizontal and vertical offset. So if I'm doing a face and top back a curb, I can take and uh, move a line over uh, six inches, up six inches, and everything uh, is good. I've got a new line. Um, constant allows me to um, uh, move horizontally uh, and then make that new line a constant uh, single elevation. Um, and then variable allows me uh, to go in and, and adjust the horizontal and vertical offset by a segment or each point. Um, and I can do the vertical offset by vertical distance, slope or slope ratio, so that, that's pretty cool. Uh, surface allows me to offset horizontally a fixed amount and then drape that line on a specified surface, um, a great tool for doing a lot of different things. Intersection allows me to take two 3D polylines and uh, slope them uh, uh, on a specified um, uh, vertical uh, slope and they will intersect and make a new 3D polyline where those two slopes intersect. Uh, think about two tops of, uh, of banks on either side. You want to do a quick ditch. This will allow you to, to find that ditch bottom really quick. Um, I can change my uh, projection either perpendicular to that polyline or to a slope direction, which could make a big difference if you're looking at long distances horizontally. Um, I can make that uh, line better if I'm uh, draping to a surface. I can reduce vertices, and I can also put that line on a new layer. But in the one command I'm going to show you today, um, uh, a lot of these things happen, and that is um, the multiple command. So what I'm going to do is say OK to this. And I open up and I get a lot of um, uh, rows here available to me. And the first thing I want to notice is this checkbox called progressive offsets. And what that's going to do is if that is checked, it will take uh, command number one and apply that to the line that I pick. And then command number two gets applied to command number one. If progressive offsets is unchecked, it does all these different things to that original line uh, so you've got control, but be careful of not picking the right thing. So I have an edge of pavement line, and I want to go to uh, the face of curb and then top back a curb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a foot and a half. That'll get me to face a curb. And uh, I have uh, slope types available to me. And I'm going to do a vertical offset. We're going to keep the elevation the same. And layer, I can either pick or, or add a new layer. And what I'm going to do is kind of um, just do one here. So this is going to be 3D um, face a curb. And then I will take and move a offset another half a foot. And then what we're going to do is another vertical offset. And I'm going to go up a half a foot to get my top back a curb. And let's see, I've got that. So I can scroll down here and I can go 3D curb back and say OK. And that puts us in good shape for what we have um, uh, for doing our curve. So I come in, and you'll see my command ask me to select a polyline to offset. And I pick that polyline. And that is the 3D polyline of my, um, uh, my edge of pavement. There's a polyline underneath. It's a 2D. That's just the CAD line. You can see it's kind of that magenta line there. And pick 3D polyline, and then I pick the direction, the side of the line offset. I want to offset this side, and I now have um, these new lines. So I can just pick another line, do the same thing. When I'm done with all those, I hit enter. Now, when I do this uh, command, you'll notice I, I made a new layer. And when you make a new layer, what happens is that layer comes in uh, as a white line. So you can see it there, and that is um, telling me that I have. Um, uh, that I have a new layer. I can go and change that color, change the name, do whatever I want. It's not a big deal. But 
that is that 3D polyline of that offset of the uh, bottom face of curb. Uh, strong command, does a lot of great stuff, um, and in future videos I'll get into details of some of the other parts of that command. Have a great one, and as usual, any questions, give me a shout. Thanks.